Welcome back to episode 32 of the No Money Spent. So today we got a lot going on. We have the featured program with all the future stars. We'll show off our progress with that. We'll also show off our progress with the big collection being George Brett. And then we got the Conquest board that we completed. We'll go over that also, as well as some of the other little programs. And then we got packs to open up. So again, a lot to do and a lot to go over. But let's start off with the featured program. So right now we're at 155 KXP, which we pretty much got, I think all of these, maybe not all of these. We got a majority of these legends and flashback packs, which there's a lot of cards here that will definitely help for collections. So for the most part, I think I've opened them, but we do have a couple left to open up too. We were pretty much getting these cards and using them while playing Conquest and you know whatever to get some some extra XP. So right now at 150k we got our first pack the AL East Future Star so we will be opening that up and we'll just keep going on from there but as far as what we did to get our XP and pretty much get to 155k we did pretty much the daily moments you know that gives you 3000 XP if you do them all. We did all the featured program moments, so there's 30 of these, and doing them all gets you 30,000 XP, so that I guess is not bad, and then we did do some of these also, some of the player ones from just getting those legends and flashback packs, and each one of those give you a thousand, so I don't know how many we did exactly, but we did some, we have some progress for others. But each one we did gave us a thousand XP. And then the next thing is collections. There's two collections here. One for Lou Gehrig and one for the City Connect for the Rockies. And the Gehrig one gives you 10,000 XP. The City Connect gets you 15,000 XP. So we'll take a closer look at those programs. But you want to get these done so you can lock in that XP. And then there is a lot of exchanges actually this time around. This can get you 30,000 XP. We're not touching exchanges, but I guess if you want to do it, you can end up doing this right now. And then we did do the future of the franchise West uh, conquest map, and that gets you 30,000 XP. So that's pretty much what we did. Now with this conquest map right here, there is 10 games to play. So quite a few games to play. And then you get a Houston Astros jersey right here, which does look pretty nice. You get five show packs. You get a rainbow bat skin. And then you get some prospect choice packs for the goals. And then a big dog set one choice pack. So here are the hidden rewards. There is some show packs, some headliner packs, and all that stuff. But there's not really that much going on, I don't think. But again, with this conquest board, there will be two other ones like this. That will also give you 30,000 XP. They're going to do one for the central. They also will do one for the east. And, you know, we'll have, we'll have plenty of conquest to do. So that's not bad right there. Now going on to the other programs that we mentioned for the Rocky City Connect. We ended up getting this 89 Charlie Blackman card. Great contact numbers. You know, has 89 power versus righties. Bronze tier defense, 70 speed. Not a bad card. You know, he does have a nice swing, I feel like. So he can be usable. And then we got the City Connect uniforms for the Rockies. Now in order to do this, we did all the moments. So there's six moments to do. And then there is mission. So you got to use Blackman and then use Rockies players. We did this while playing the Conquest map. So that's what I would recommend. You also can do exchanges, I guess. But again, we're not touching exchanges. And then the other program, the Lou Gehrig program. So we ended up getting 86 Salvador Perez. Great power numbers versus lefties. Not bad versus righties. And then also five show packs right here, a headliner. And then we also got 92 Lou Gehrig who has 110 contact versus righties, 92 power versus lefties. So not a bad bat either, but kind of the same thing. We did the moments, there's seven of these, and then we did the Perez mission and the Yankees missions. So that's pretty much it. We got those two done, and those two programs gave us a good amount of XP. So that's pretty much all we did. We also have started a little bit for mini seasons, and we got some progress right here. So mini seasons, we'll probably finish this off either tomorrow or monday most likely monday because i think i'd rather go ahead and do the events first but yeah and for this mission right here if you guys want to know mystery mission this is live series players for parallel xp you know getting that and it gets you a ball and there's a habit pack i don't know what this pack gets you but it is five strikeouts with roy holiday so that's something we will end up doing but we got some extra xp just from that mini season and then what else do we want to go over before we open up our packs I guess really quick, we'll go into the big collection, but we'll go, we'll come back to this and talk more about it 
but i just want to lock this in right here so we have eight of these so far eight vouchers we'll talk more about it after but we'll just get these 10 show packs and then we'll go on open up our show packs and then we'll also go over like our marketplace a little bit and some of our investments because i did sell off quite a or not quite a few but i have started sell, selling off investments and stuff like that so for today packs we got 39 show packs. We have a good amount of packs. We have 39 show packs, two ball and is a habit packs, a silver pack, two, three, four headliner packs. We got two prospect packs, a big dog choice pack, a headliner six choice pack, which is from the conquest board. And then the futures AL East pack right here. And then some flashback and legends pack. And then a bronze rewind pack that we get from the, the mini season. I want to open this up. And yeah, these actually are the BR players. So basically they, they had it as a BR rewind pack and then they changed the name of it, but it's still the same thing. So all of these cards, they go for 2,500. So it doesn't really matter what we take, but if you guys obviously didn't play BR, you want to take the players you don't have, you know, so you definitely want to do that. And then let's see, what else do we want to open up next? We'll go with our favorite pack, the silver pack. Let's see if we can get another diamond out of these. And no diamond. It would have been nice. We get Ryan Mountcastle right there. We'll go with the AL Prospect pack. And these cards, what are they going for? 1.27. They are pretty cheap. So we kind of want to take the most expensive, but we'll just take Hank. Oh, we get two of these cards? All right, not bad. Not bad right there. And then the next one, where's the other one? The NL West. We will take, let's see, 1.4, 1.6. We got 1.6, 1.5, and 1.6. So I guess this doesn't really matter. We'll take, uh, we have all of these guys too. So we'll just take those two and we'll definitely sell them off. Now, let's see, we have, let's just go on to the show packs. 39 of these. We're looking for some diamonds today. You know, we're, we're trying to build up that stuff count still. So a diamond would be pretty nice, a high rated diamond would be even better but hopefully in 39 packs we can get ourselves a diamond because we haven't really had that many packs lately and we, you know we haven't really packed that many diamonds because of that so obviously it would be nice to pull one today just to keep going and you know keep building up the collection like we have been doing but for for our stubs you know you guys can see in the upper left hand corner we we have a good amount and we'll go over that but we did pretty much sell off all our Rockies investments. So, you know, oh, a chase pack. Not, yo, if I could just get Carlos Delgado for one time, that would be so, so nice. But we'll, we'll see what we get out of that when, when we open that. Now that's going to be the last pack that we do. But as I was saying, we did invest in Rockies players, you know, pretty much last month. You know, we, we kind of did it early because I thought the City Connect program for the Rockies was dropping last month. But we pretty much sold off those investments. We had a lot of players. And I think we made like 180k off of that. And the crazy thing is they went up more. <laughs> they went up more in price today. I sold them off yesterday. But today they're, they're even more expensive. So we probably could have made like another 30 to 50k if we waited another day. But I was fine with that. You know, I don't want to get, I don't want to hold too much with investments. I feel like that's one thing we've been doing a little too much is holding on to our investments instead of just like taking the profits and selling off and whatnot but again we'll show off the uh the marketplace and you know our transactions towards the end but let's see if we can get anything else in these packs we got 21 more of these i want to see a diamond you know i want to see an actual diamond not from the chase pack you know i want to see a diamond for one of these show packs and we'll see if we can get anything good right here but nothing there salvador perez i mean we just got the diamond version of him but I guess let me know how you guys are doing so far with this program. I feel like a lot of people just fly through these programs, but they're also prepping a lot. You know, they're playing March to October. They're playing Road to the Show. We're not doing any of that. Everything we've done so far is just Diamond Dynasty based because we're trying to just get what's necessary. You know, like I could just go after the XP, but if we're going to like, I'd rather get XP while doing all the stuff that we're naturally going to do either way. Diamond equipment, bad skin. I always get a diamond equipment. Like, that's the last thing I want. That's really the last thing I want. Unless they're going to give us a diamond equipment that's like 20 plus K. Then I'm not going to complain. But bad skin is probably the worst one to get. These show packs, they're, they're just missing right now. They are really, really missing. This is crazy. Like, the show pack drought is real. It's really real right now. We got Zunino right there as a bronze player. We got eight left. I also pretty much cleared out my inventory too. And I guess that's another thing I'll show you guys once we get to that point. 
But yeah, <laughs> these packs are terrible. These packs are really, really bad right now. We get another bronze right there. Let's see what we can get in these last five show packs. If we can see a diamond, that would be pretty nice. But obviously, you know, we want to get one in, you know, the remainder packs too. We got some balling packs, which hopefully we're due for a diamond in one of those and the headliners. And then obviously the chase pack is going to be pretty big for us. So last show pack right here. Do we see a diamond? And we do not. Crazy. So let's go, let's go headliner. Set nine, chance at Ryan Sandberg. Actually a card I need. You know, that card could be very useful for us. Second half hero card. Let's see if we can get it in this pack. And no diamond. Cole pack, I mean, he's, he's playing really well. We got Gary Sheffield right here for set 10. Card we already have, but wouldn't mind a dupe. Not even getting one. Set 12, Ketel Marte. Really would like to get him. <laughs> You know, that would be pretty nice. Silvers. Wow, these are crazy. <laughs> these packs are crazy. Let's go on to the balling as a habit. We have two of these. Let's see if we get anything good out of these two. And another gold. Manoa might be a diamond candidate right there. Last balling for us. Wow, <laughs> these packs were so bad. They were so, so bad. So now let's see. Let's go Big Dog 1. So these packs, we pretty much have all of these. But I guess if we get a rare round, that wouldn't be bad. Oh, we did. Nice. Hmm. I kind of have all these cards. Well, I don't. I literally just bought Anthony Volpe. So we don't need that. This is like the first time we got the rare round. Now, do I need Breakout Series or All-Star Series? I gotta think. <laughs> I gotta think really quick. Did I do the breakout collection? I don't remember. I think I did. So actually, I think I did the all-star too. Whatever, we'll just take the all-star. It doesn't really matter. You know, we're in a good spot either way. Now set six, this choice pack right here, we have, I guess, a chance at Vida Blue. You know, we'll see what we can get out of this. I think the first time we did this or we had a pack like this, we got a gold player. So I'm pretty much expecting another gold. I like these Rockies unis. And then a gold player. Yeah, you know, what What else is new right there? So, obviously, we have all these. We'll take Aaron Nola. He's the most expensive, right? Yeah, we got to take the most expensive. So, that's kind of a dud. You know, we would have liked to see a diamond right there. Now, we got the legends and flashbacks. So, again, these pretty much help out with collection purposes. And when I saw this pack yesterday, I thought you only got one player. <laughs> you get one player from each division. So you will end up getting all 30 of these players. And we got to just take the last one right here in Eovaldi. So we pretty much got all of these ones actually from the... Actually, we might have all of them now. We literally might have all of them with this last pack right here. So that's not bad. You know, so yeah, we got, we got every legend. We'll take the all-star right there. We will take Keston Hira, Future Stars, and then the Rookie and Monte Irvin. So we got all the Legends and Flashbacks. That's not bad right there. And they definitely help with collections, just building that up a little bit. So I guess next we'll open up the Future Stars pack for the AL East. This is our first one. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a player and sell them. You know, I feel like these cards, they will go under 20k. So I might as well take the profits when I can. But I definitely want Peraza. Like, Peraza is the one that we probably will use first and debut and all that stuff. But for, for the sake of it, we are going to take... Maybe we'll take Martinez. Martinez right now is at 38k. Maybe we'll take him and try to sell him. But I think Peraza, from this set, I think Peraza and Henderson are the best ones. So, yeah. You know, let me know what you guys end up taking if you guys are doing this. But, like I said, I think I'm just going to take one and sell it. And, you know, we'll probably pick up Peraz and debut him and whatnot. But we'll take Martinez here. We'll list him up, try to get some extra stubs out of it. And now we got the chase set too. You know, chance at, chance at Carlos Delgado, which would be pretty, pretty big. Because we need that Takashi series. I just hope I get a diamond. <laughs> you know, I don't want to see another gold here. I think we've opened three of these. And two of them have been gold. So, do we get a diamond today? Okay, this is good. We we at least got a diamond. We at least got a diamond. Now let's see who it may be. Can it be big? Ooh, these are these are not like these are not the colors we want to see. This, is this Verlander? Probably Verlander. Okay, it's Altuve. I mean, not the best. <laughs> not the best. I wanted a 90 plus diamond that could have been really really big for us. We get Altuve. You know, we'll take it. It's some extra stubs. But it's not, it's not helping us out. <laughs> it's not helping us out that much. 
so next thing is is our marketplace so like i said we have been selling off a little bit now i'll just show off really quick like the rockies players we invested in these cards wow they're going up even more <laughs> i think i sold my black men at like 700 stubs and we had 30 of each we had 30 of each silver cards and they're definitely going up they're definitely going up today i think what happened is yesterday everyone was just focused on the F future stars program that they didn't even care about doing you know the city connect and these prices jumped up you know after yesterday so if i if i held another day we would have made probably another easy 50k so it's whatever though you know we, we took our profits but we did have a lot of these and the next the next city connect is the angels so maybe we start investing in those players you know we'll have to see what they're going for right now they're kind of up there, you know, if you're just taking a look at like what the Rockies are, these cards might hit 800 stubs. So it's still, I think, a fairly good investment if we want to get into it. And yeah, I think we might. I think we might start investing in Angels players. And I think this City Connect maybe drops in a week or two. You know, I, I would have to double check, but I think that would be a good investment for Angels players. So that's something we probably end up doing. Since we're on this page, we need Mike Trout. We'll probably put in an order for him today and pick him up. You know, we got the stubs now since we pretty much sold everything. And then really quick, our other investments are the equipment. So I have started selling these off a little bit. We have the Diamond Socks. So I think I had like 60 of these. We sold however many that is, <laughs> you know, we've sold a few of them, but I was selling them at 5k. So I kind of want to wait to see if these get back to 5k and we'll start selling more of these. We still have the arm four socks and these are around 4k, which is actually the most they have been. So we can start selling these off a little bit. And then the back grips, they are at 3.8k. So they're going up and we have 50 of these. So with the equipment we have, I think we have another 500k tied into equipment we have some batting gloves so mother's day 3.4k they're starting to go up a little bit so that's not bad you know if these if these clear like that order and go to 4.3k we might start selling we only have 16 of these but these are looking pretty good and then the arm force batting gloves we got 21 of these at 1.8k so just taking a look at our completed orders a lot of stuff is stuff that we pretty much sold like i said we pretty much clear out cleared out our inventory sold our duplicates but a lot of it is selling off, you know, the Rockies players, which they are definitely up from just looking at these right here. So just a quick skim through, you know, if you guys want to pause and see what we've been selling, you guys can take a look at that. But most of it, like I said, is duplicates. These are way back, you know, but most of it is duplicates. And I guess these are some common players right here. But most of it's just duplicates and the Rockies players and some of the diamond equipment that we ended up selling, you know, within the last three days. So we made a lot of stubs from that and we still have a lot more stubs that we can end up making. So what's next for us is pretty much, you know, focusing on the big collection. But I think what we're gonna do for the rest of today is events. You know, there's two second half hero cards here that we can end up getting. Cliff Lee, Jimmy Rollins, we need 15 wins. So we'll probably try to get 15 wins by tomorrow and have that collection done. You know, I think we'll, we'll be able to finish up the second half hero collection. And going back to the collection, you know, kind of our main progress. So we've been able to do eight collections so far. We got all the postseason, the veteran, the all-star. I guess we can go in here and you guys can see what we have. But we got all the postseason cards. We got all the veteran series cards, you know, for the, for the collection purpose. We got 60 all-star series cards right here. And again, a lot of these cards you will just naturally get from leveling up the, the Future Stars program. You know, there's a good amount there. There's 30 Legends and Flashbacks, so it definitely helps. We got 30 Breakout, 35 Breakout Series cards. We got that one done. We got the 30 Rookie Series cards. So a lot of these we did have prepped up. You know, we've been holding on to every card that we've gotten pretty much throughout the year. So these ones were the easy ones to end up getting. And then we picked up a couple Prospect Series and got these ones done so that's kind of our progress so far now second half heroes we need three more so like i said once we get jimmy and cliff lee we'll just have to pick up one more i'm thinking about picking up Ketel Marte, but he's 30k and then like if we want we can just pick up a player for 10k so i don't know like Ketel Marte is probably more usable but we'll have to see you know we'll definitely have to see what's jim Edmonds going for 22k and then i think the other cheap one would be matt chapman you know, so we'll have to see with that right there. 
And then Future Stars, this is probably the one we end up skipping out on, you know, for collection purposes to get George Brett. Face of the franchise, we have 16 of them. And then there's six more we can get from the Future Stars program because they did add these packs into that. So what's that? We'll have to buy like five more of these, which isn't that expensive. Prime Series, we have four. So we need six more after that. We're actually going to get Troy Gloss when we get, what's his name, Trout. So we got to buy five more of these. And these ones aren't really that expensive. They're around 13K each. So it's definitely doable for us. The award series, this is going to be the most expensive one. Once we get Trout, we'll get Frank Thomas. And then we pretty much need Will Myers, which is 12K. Duvall's 12K. But then we got Robbie Ray for 28K. We'll need either Brandon Crawford. He's 117K. Wasn't he like 80K? He jumped up crazy just from yesterday to today. Wow. I saw him at like 85k, so that's a big jump for him. And then we'll need Pujols, which is 115. So I think what we might do, we might just wait and see if another award series card drops for the low, you know, because I feel like it's kind of too much to go after these expensive cards for the award series. But award series is definitely going to be the most expensive. Signature series, once we get trout, we got young, we got Randy Johnson. Then we just need Franco at 17k and Bruce Suter at 20k. So that one is pretty doable. Milestones, we just pretty much got to pick up these cheap guys. 12k for these ones. Uh, Dontrell Willis is 42k, so he's kind of up there. And then Polanco at 12k is not bad. So, you know, another collection that we probably are very close. And then cover athletes, we got to we gotta pick these cards up. I feel like these ones are starting to go up a little bit. I think they got down to like 15 or 16K. So they are moving back up a little bit. So we'll probably try to get this done, you know, within the week. Same with Takashi cards. We'll get one of these cards through many seasons. And then we just got to get lucky see if we can get Delgado or something from a pack. But Delgado is pretty expensive right now at 151. But it did come down a little bit too. So I think throughout this week, like as far as our progress... We're going to go a 0 to 100 really quick. We will get Trout, and then we probably will get Babe and Joe Maurer. We probably will get all three of those, and Randy Johnson, obviously, this next week. So it's going to be a pretty big week for us, and then we'll be pretty close to George Brett. Like I said, we have 500K stubs, and then we have another 500K tied into the diamond equipment. So it's just a matter of do we put all our million stubs and try to get George Brett this week? Or do we, you know, take our time a little bit and try to reinvest in some of our stubs and try to make some profits too, you know, and then get George Brett. So I think within two weeks for sure, we will get George Brett. Plus we have all the other stubs that we can get from the program and packs and all that. Maybe we get lucky, pack a high rated diamond. That would always be nice. But I do think we're in a really, really good position and we'll be able to get some of these cards fairly soon so kind of a long episode but we didn't make a lot of progress and the future progress is going to be even bigger so let me know how you guys are doing so far with the program what you guys are working on and until the next one if you guys are new make sure to subscribe drop a like in the video thank you guys for watching and i'm out